Okay, in this video, we are going to break down the slide all the way to where nothing is left on it except for the bushing and the front dovetail sight. The first thing we're going to do uh, to get this broken down is we're going to remove the firing pin retainer and the, the safety levers, which is the same thing. So the first thing you do, set the slide on a flat surface, uh, grab a couple of punches. One, the brass punch we're going to use to push in the firing pin while we're holding down the firing pin safety right here. So we just depress that button and push in the firing pin all the way, then release it. And you can see right here uh, the firing pin sticking out now through the, the breech face. Once you release the firing pin safety, it'll hold it in place. And then now we're going to remove this side lever here. Uh, you need something very thin, small nail, very small punch, something that'll fit inside the hole right here. Just reach in there and push in. There's a spring-loaded button in there. And then before you pull the lever all the way off, place your finger over. And you hear that snap. Uh, right there is a, uh, a little button and a spring. So we'll pull those out. You can see them right there. Next, we'll take the brass punch and push it in against the firing pin, which you can still access as long as the the, the safety is showing in the fire position. Just push it and then take your thumb and start to slide the safety off. And what you'll do is you'll reach a point where you can no longer push it any further because of the brass punch is in the way. Then I'll reach in with a thinner punch. In this case you can see how mine is bent to stay out of the way for clearance. Just being very careful not to scratch anything. Now I can continue to push the safety all the way off. As soon as it reaches a point you'll hear the firing pin snap back against it. It's in a recessed channel. Just take the safety and turn it up like that. And then it comes right out. And then there is the uh, the button that was right here on the lever. That's what just snapped out. And now we are all the way down to just having to remove the rear sight the extractor and then when we remove the rear sight the magazine safety will come uh, the magazine safety will come out and then along with the firing pin safety uh, and the firing pin and spring and the way you remove the uh, firing pin right now you just take that button when you push it uh, you will see the firing pin and spring will come flying out now in order to remove the extractor, we just have to pound out this pin right here. Best way to access this pin is from the inside of the frame. You want to pound from the inside, pushing it up through the top. You never want to go from the top down into the frame. It's always easier for it to be removed this way. Plus if your punch slips, you're not going to scratch up the exterior of the frame. You're just going to maybe scratch up a little bit of the surface here. And this is achieved uh, just by getting a, a good sized steel punch. It has to be steel. You cannot use brass for this. These pins are very tight on the extractor. So we just get a, a punch that's about the same size as the pin. Just hold it in its place and just wrap it pretty good with a uh, your hammer. And you can see the pin coming out through the top right there and we're getting pretty close there you can see how far it's come out again it's pretty tough and we're almost all the way out and I got to be careful that when the pin does come out this extractor can come flying out so one of my punch pushes it through. I want to leave my punch in the hole before I pull it out. I've got to make sure I capture the extractor and the spring that's behind it. I'm 
Okay. So we are done there. There's the pin that came out and it is in good shape. It's not rusted. I'm going to set that aside. And now you can see the, uh, the punch sticking out. I'm going to put a lot of pressure on the end of the extractor. And I'm going to remove the punch. Now the extractor is going to be free. And it falls right out there. You can see it. Uh, then the spring is right here. If I can get that little guy out of there. in there and that is very dirty on the inside there you can see just how clean this gun is and look at how much gunk is on that so there's the extractor and the spring removed the extractor is in good shape it's not worn uh, so I'm going to set that aside and now we are ready to start removing the uh, rear sight and the way we want to do this a lot of guys want to use a sight pusher uh, which is not necessary on these if you let uh, if, you, if you get the the slide and the sight here soaked really good with like a liquid wrench or croil it will loosen up any corrosion that's under it any kind of rust and then you should be able to pound it out we always want to pound out this whether it be the front dovetail or the rear slide whether it's a Novak style or the adjustable sights they always will be pushed off to the right when you're looking down the muzzle or looking down the gun rather from the shooting position the sight always is installed from the right side and it's always removed towards the right side you never want to try to push a sight on from the left side it always goes on and off right here this is like uh, the, the door to get it in and out so we'll just take it using the non marring side of the hammer just start pounding right on the back of that Novak and it should start to move. Uh, you can see where the sight is centered perfectly in the slide. Just after a few hits here it should start to move. And there you go. You can see how much it's already moved revealing the plate underneath there which is what we're trying to get at in order to remove the, mag the uh, uh, magazine disconnect and then also the safety for the firing pin. So we'll just keep moving this a little bit more. And you can see there we're about half, well, about a third of the way off. And now we're about, about half the way. And what I like to do on these sometimes is to punch the rest of it out just to save some time. If you just take a, uh, a regular brass punch like this with a patch wrapped around it just to protect the surface of the, the Novak side, it should work pretty good. So we'll just take this just like that and give this one a few good wraps here. So you can see we're getting close. Now we're real close. So what I got to be careful here though is that this, the springs that are underneath here are going to pop this cover off if I get the sight off too fast. So I need to put my finger there and then just very carefully finish just like that. The Novak is gone. We'll set that aside. And now you can see the plate here that we remove. And then inside there is going to be a spring, another spring that's a little bit different size. I'm going to flip the slide over and push out those two buttons, if you will, and there they are. So this slide is completely disassembled, except for the bushing in the end, which we should never need to replace. To replace that effectively anyway, it's easier just to send it back to the factory if it ever needed to be. We've got the extractor out of there. I'm not going to bother to remove the front sight, but the front sight gets removed. Again, you push it off to the right of the slide. And what I'll do is I'll take my brass punch and then fold over a cloth patch 
four times so you got four pieces of cloth behind it and then just use that to, to push it off and it, it will come off you may have to hit it about 40 or 50 times but it'll it will come off especially if you soak it with croil or liquid wrench so now this slide uh, is completely disassembled making it very easy to clean